Hi Econ students and welcome back. Today's topic, elasticity. The focus of this video will be on a specific type of elasticity, known as cross-price elasticity of demand. The cross-price elasticity of demand can be defined as the measure of the responsiveness of the quantity demand of a particular good to a change in the price of a related good. The quantity demand of a particular good therefore depends on the change in price of the related good. The cross-price elasticity coefficient will indicate whether we are dealing with a substitute or a complement good. For additional information and examples on the difference between complement and substitute goods, please be sure to watch the previous explainer video. In order to calculate our cross-price elasticity of demand, we will use the following formula. In this video, we will use our ARC formula to calculate cross-price elasticity. EC, which is our elasticity coefficient, will be equal to the quantity of product A divided by the price in product B. Q2 minus Q1 divided by Q1 plus Q2 for product A. And we will divide this by price 2 minus price 1 divided by price 1 plus price 2 for product B. If you obtain a negative value, this indicates that we are dealing with a complement good. However, if you obtain a positive value, this indicates that we are dealing with a substitute good. For complement goods, a change in the price of the product will lead to a change in the quantity demanded in the opposite direction. In order to explain this concept, let's look at a quick example. Remember that complement goods are two separate goods used together. In our example, our first good is data. Data is a complement good for both Netflix and YouTube. Suppose that the price of mobile data increases. This would lead to a reduction in the demand or the use of Netflix and YouTube as it had become now more expensive to stream videos online. All South Africans are familiar with beer and Braaflees. These two goods complement one another. If the price of beer decreases, this may in turn lead to an increase in the demand for Braaflees, as these two goods goes hand in hand. Substitute goods, on the other hand, are goods that can be used in place of one another, as these two goods fulfill the same need. For example, tea and coffee. If you are not a coffee snob and you want a hot beverage, but the price of coffee increased, this would lead to the substitution from coffee to tea, as tea fulfills the same purpose or need as what coffee does. Another example, apples and pears. If you want to eat fruit, and the price of pears increases, you would rather substitute your consumption from pears to a cheaper alternative, which is apples. Our last example. Suppose that you use a computer, but the prices of computers rapidly increases. You would now rather buy a laptop as opposed to a computer. Now it's time to look at some practical examples. Grab your pen, your calculator and your notes and do the following examples with me. For the first example, you are given the following information. When the price of product B increases from 30 Rand to 70 Rand, the quantity demanded of product A decreases from 1200 units to 900 units. In order to calculate our cross price elasticity, we will use our ARC formula. By substituting the given values into our formula, we will have the following. EC is equal to our Q2 minus Q1 from product A, which is 900 minus 1200, 
divided by 1200 plus 900, which is our quantity for product A. And we will divide this by the price of product B, which is 70 minus 30 divided by 30 plus 70. EC is therefore equal to minus 0 0.3571. And our final answer is equal to minus 0 0.36. For a negative cross price elasticity value, this indicates that we are dealing with complement goods. In our next example, the following is given. When the price of product B increases from 120 Rand to 130 Rand, the quantity demanded of product A changes from 520 units to 590 units. Again, we will calculate our cross price elasticity by using our ARC method. This giving us EC is equal to quantity divided by price, where quantity is our quantity of product A divided by the price of product B. This giving us 590 minus 520 divided by 520 plus 590. We will then divide the first part by our price, which is 130 minus 120 divided by 120 plus 130. EC is therefore equal to 1.5765 and our final answer is equal to 1.58. In the case that we obtain a positive cross price elasticity value, this means that we are dealing with substitute goods. That concludes our video for today. Hope to see you next time.